In Detroit, a high school track and field star has been setting records since he was just eight years old. He's on the fast track to compete in the Olympics someday, but that journey hasn't been an easy one. Our Brad Galley has the story that's full of heartbreak and struggle, but also hope. Weeknights on the track. This is home to Isaiah Griffith. Watching him run and jump, it's easy to see why. Tell me about that guy in the yellow right there. He's all right. <laughs> he's all right. I know he's better than all right. What is the ceiling for him? What is his potential? I would be remiss if I didn't say that I, I really do think that Isaiah has the potential to be on a medal stand at the Olympics. Right now, my goal is 2020 Tokyo Olympics. That's my main goal. You don't shy away from that goal at all, do you? Not at all. That certainly sets out some high expectations, but the proof is in the record books. This past Friday, he broke the state record in the triple jump. It was the third time in a month he set the new mark, each time eclipsing the previous length set by himself. And you are in Michigan. Number one. Number one. And two, and three, and four. <laughs> For all the reasons to compete, there is one that stands out above all. The whole purpose of it is to make my mother proud. Every practice, every time I work hard, every jump is just even more of a big step to make her proud. When Isaiah was setting his first national records as a teen, his mother was dying. Pulmonary hypertension was slowly killing her. She had a lot of illness around her heart, and she just never told a lot of people. So when it started really, really getting the best of her, I was 14 and 13. I had to learn how to change the medicine because it wasn't necessarily a catheter, but it was something that constantly gave medicine to her heart, and it stayed in there. It had to take surgery over and over, and it was a long journey. It's a lot of growing up to do yeah. when you're only that 14 years old. Right. So what's home like now? I live with my sister right now. She has two children, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. It's, it's, it's pretty good. We don't have a car right now, but we work it out. I, I get rides from, you know, the football people who run track and stuff. They help me out as much as they can. With his mother gone, Isaiah admits he was frustrated. His father not around much. He turned to the only home he knew and the coach Set. go who helped him find his love for the sport years prior. When the phone call came, he said, coach, can I come over there with you? I had coached him for like three years, so I explained to him, listen, we run a rigorous program. Stop looking around and move. No shenanigans with the behavior. You're going to be held accountable for your actions. I didn't necessarily know how much I needed him at the time. I just thought of him as somewhere I could go for a coach with a facility where I can, you know, long jump. That's the first thing I thought of. But then as I got older, I started realizing how much more he is, not just as the coach, but he makes sure I'm always doing what I'm supposed to do. Some tough loving, though, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, like a dad-son relationship. <laughs> I trust the Lord. When I don't know why he puts people in my life, then I just trust him. We do everything over at East Englesville. If a kid need a ride, we take him home. You hungry, we feed you. You know, you don't have the money for uniforms, it doesn't matter. We don't get caught in the small things. We need to get the kid where he needs to be. So now the goal of the 2020 Olympics is still blazing hot, but first it's earning a college scholarship. Isaiah would be the first male in his family to ever go to college. He does not like to lose. And when you have that type of grit and perseverance, and you can channel that in an athletic field, that kid right there is going to blow up. I do get frustrated, but like I said, I got to keep that purpose in mind, that motivation that keeps me from quitting. It's just my mom, my mom, and that Olympic gold. That's the only thing I can look forward to right now. I can't be frustrated too much because I got to stay focused. At the track, Brad Galley, 7 Action News. Wow, we wish him all the luck in the world, and thank goodness for that coach. We tip our hats to you, sir, tonight.